the Israelis say the sort of ceasefire they want is one where there are no more rockets onto their territory and where the border with Egypt is controlled so there's no arms smuggling across it. Would you accept that? Uh, uh, stop uh, sending, uh, launching rockets means stop assassinating Palestinians by your helicopters and airplanes. So you cannot uh, look at one side and for, uh, ignore the other side. Uh, about, about smuggling the armaments is another issue. It's part of the bigger solution. And Syria is not involved in this issue but, because but, we but, don't have border with uh, Gaza. But do you think that should be part of any ceasefire? Yeah, of course. We will support ceasefire. We've been working with uh, many countries, including the French, for this ceasefire. Do, do you support Resolution 1860, the one that was passed at the UN recently? In principle, we support most uh, of it, uh, but it's, at the end it's ambiguous. It doesn't have an executive plan. How to implement it? That's the question. What about the Hamas rockets into Israel? Now, that's been going on for some time. The Israelis say that any country would respond in the way that they've responded. Do you think that's a fair point? No, because there was truce for six months, and during that truce, no one, no one of the Israelis was killed while 30, 38 to 40 Palestinians were assassinated publicly by the Israeli. So how could Hamas launch rockets and the Palestinians died? This is not logical. But what if someone was firing rockets into Syria? I mean, you, you'd, you'd have to respond, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's not about only sending rockets. What, what if you have embargo? Embargo is a war, not military war. When the people are going to die and they have to choose between dying uh, slowly and dying fast. No, they're going to die fast. Now, Syria offers a base uh, to the, the exiled political leader of Hamas, Khaled Mashal. Uh, you must have influence with him. Are you pushing him to accept a ceasefire? We don't push anyone. We make dialogue. And they accepted the ceasefire. They, are, they support the ceasefire. But when you say ceasefire, it's not any ceasefire, ju not just to have ceasefire for a few days. You want it to be sustainable. Sustainable means you have certain requirements should be available in order to have the ceasefire. So for what, what for you is the most important point about sustaining a ceasefire then? Israel respecting the ceasefire, something never happened before. Second, to lift the embargo. Without this, you won't have sustainable uh, ceasefire.